they tend to be ovarian and testicular. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. A teratoma on your testes. <laughs> <laughs> With teeth. <laughs> it's terrible. Hey, welcome to another episode of Fact or Fiction, and I'm A.D. Dolphin. I am Rashid Kareem Shatti. Ready, fight. All right, Rashid, we're talking about faces this week. I got a handsome face. That's a whole nother subject for another day. Let's get to this fact or fiction question. Every mammal has a chin. Oh, that's a good question. That's a great one. You okay? I see the, the vein in the middle of your forehead. You know Jimmy Neutron like I'm having a brain blast. I don't even know who Jimmy Neutron is. What's that, a cartoon? He's a cartoon, yeah. You're a cartoon guy. Fiction. Fiction, that's what you said. Uh, something tells me there's some mammal out there with no chin. I want to say a beaver has no chin. You think it doesn't? It's got kind of like a flat or like an otter. Maybe an otter has a chin, but I, I want to say a... Or beaver, a, no a, chin. That's beaver, what you no wrote. chin. All right, unfortunately, Rasheed, you are right. <laughs> ah! It is fiction. Let's go. Decent. It breaks down to this. Humans are actually the only mammals on the planet that have a chin. Sometimes people don't know exactly what's the chin, what's not the chin. So your jawbone is actually this part of your face right here. Okay. And this protruding underneath it, that's considered your chin. Okay, okay. And when it comes down to the scientists have no idea what the purpose of our chin is actually for. I think taking punches. <laughs> that might be it. Fact or fiction? Bring it. Teeth can grow in other parts of the body besides the mouth. What, like in your arm? Is that what you're referring to? Your elbow, your ACL. Teeth. God. I feel like the producer's in my head. She's playing mind games with yeah, you? Definitely. I'm, I'm playing against her and you. <laughs> and both of you guys are kicking my ass. I'm going to go with that is a fact. And what's your reasoning? I have none. <laughs> I like that. I kind of like this is like like unhinged. Uh, you're you're desperate for for any kind of wing. listen. So, I'm I'm winging it. You know what? I'm gonna change my answer. Can I change my answer? By all means. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm not changing my answer. I'm staying with it. Tell me, am I right? Ooh, it's a fact, Ad. You got one. Thank you. you. <laughs> Awesome. I can't wait here to hear the facts on this one. You had me dying when I thought you switched to fiction for a second. I was I was thinking about it because I was like, eh, eh. But go on. There is a kind of tumor called a teratoma that can grow any kind of human tissue inside of it, including muscle, skin, digestive glands, and even teeth and hair. Is it cancerous in any way? That is a great question, AD. But the fact is, they're usually benign. They look scary. They look like if you have you ever heard of the movie The Thing? Yeah, I have. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they look kind of like The Thing with just a bunch of teeth and uh, elbows and eyeballs and stuff sticking out of it. And okay, it's that's, <laughs> that's wild. They tend to be ovarian and testicular. Ooh, <laughs> ooh. A teratoma on your testes. <laughs> with teeth. <laughs> it's terrible. They're not very common but they're not the rarest tumor out there. Wow, wow. Well, let's get into your next question. Fact or fiction, you don't need to see someone's eyebrows to recognize them. You know the girl Kanye used to date for a little while, Julia Fox? No. She, have you seen Uncut Gems? No. She either died or shaved her eyebrows. It's this new trend. I don't know if you've, if you've heard of Hell this trend. No, nah. people are shaving their eyebrows. She looks goofy. And then I'm, I'm like, do I know that's her because it says it's her in the picture? I'm gonna say it's fiction because I do recognize her. Well, you're right on. <laughs> it is fiction. All right. There are several studies that show how much you'll struggle trying to figure out who someone is if they don't actually have their eyebrows. Wow. It becomes more puzzling. Puzzling is, the, is a great word. Yeah, it's like, ah, is that AD? 
Charlie Villanueva, you remember him? Oh man, his eyebrows were terrible. Okay, AD, fact or fiction? Eating the wrong kind of salt can give you a humongous swollen neck. <laughs> Who knows this answer? I'm gonna say that's fiction. You calling Cap? What's the wrong kind of salt? That's, there's so many different salts out there. <laughs> I like pink Himalayan, that's my favorite. I'm gonna say that's a fact. You're going with fat. I'm switching up. It's never been done on the show. Wow. I'm doing it now. And that switch saved your life. <laughs> it is a fact. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to hear the answer. Salt shouldn't do this. Yeah, yeah. we've learned of a teratoma. We've learned of a bezoar. And now we have a new one on the block, a goiter. Oh, I've heard of a goiter. No, that's when they're, they got this big old giant neck thing going on. So there's salt that's doing that? So what a goiter actually is, is a super swollen thyroid gland. Right. Thyroids are glands in our neck that help to regulate hormones. That's true. All that's real. Usually when they swell like this, it's a sign of an iodine deficiency. I'm, rich, I'm, I'm waiting to hear the salt part. Most salts in America are fortified with iodine. So that's why if you have the wrong kind of salt that's, that's not, not fortified with iodine, then therefore you're... You're in goiter city. <laughs> so you can also get a goiter though if you have some sort of illness or disorder that involves a thyroid dysfunction but the best part of that is that i got it right i did get it right and we're going into overtime all right guys we're back in ot you know the rules i'm gonna read the question then it's gonna be one two three and we yell out our answer let's go cyanide poisoning can cause goiters Boss. Let's go. Cyanide poison should kill you. Winner. All right, I want to yell foul, okay? If you're exposed to a low dose of cyanide over time, it can result in a nasty goiter. Bah humbug. But anyways, thanks for watching Factor Fiction. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you have a comment, Leave it in the comment section. I'm not in the best mood right now.